Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, and today I have some pretty awesome news for you guys on the PS4 awaiting Fallout 4 mods. So it's been a long ass time since we were actually meant to get mods on the PlayStation 4. It's been actually around about six months late, I believe now, and that is absolutely insane. Now in this video, I will be giving you a rundown on the release week and also a couple of mods to start you off on your PlayStation 4 console that are really fucking great for that console. Uh, so first of all, last night, around about 21 hours ago, Bethesda Game Studios at Bethesda Studios on Twitter tweeted out this. Fallout 4's 1.8 arrives on consoles later this week and will include PS4 mod support. So there you go guys, it will actually be this week. I'm going to assume it's either today or maybe Saturday. I think probably Saturday so that you guys can actually enjoy your weekends off school or work or whatever and just sit down, play some games and actually enjoy the mods that you were meant to have a long time ago if it wasn't for Sony. Now, again, I did say I have a couple of mods that are pretty awesome to get you started, and these are probably my top picks currently for the PlayStation 4 mods on the Fallout 4 uh, game. So, first of all, we have a mod called the Bean Town Interiors Project, and what this does is basically opens up uh, lots of the boarded up houses that you couldn't previously get inside of. So, basically, it gives you more room to actually explore the world. It'll give you a couple of extra minutes of exploring time. I guess. So yeah, pretty good little mod. The second mod we have is a Cannibal in Concord, definitely one of my top favorite mods for both the Xbox, the PC, and now the PlayStation 4. It basically adds in this kind of house, this cannibal house, into Concord, in which you go inside, and it's kind of like a mystery kind of game. There's loads of secret, like, passages, trapdoors, buttons you have to press that are hidden. It's pretty cool, definitely one of my favorite all-time mods for Fallout 4. Moving on, we have one called Underground Railroad, immersive fast travel for survival, and like it says, it's for survival, and it is a huge mod if you are playing on survival difficulty. It definitely recommended, basically adds this underground kind of tunnel, in which leads to different places all along the map, so you can easily get to there very quickly. Uh, moving on, we have one called Simple Green. Although it's no kind of resurrection mod, we do have a mod that adds a little bit more green into the wasteland. So I guess you guys could check that out. I don't know what the performance issues would be, but you know, it's still worth a little bit of a look. Moving on, we have one called Unlock Settlement Items or settlement objects even, and basically this just gives you all of the previous objects from the main game that you couldn't place down in the settlement building mode. Yeah, that's right. You couldn't place down some of the objects, like so you see bunk beds and, you know, different kind of couches. Now you can actually place them down when building your own house. And last but not least, we have one called Simple Camping. This one is a very good mod. It basically allows you to camp wherever you would like in the world, so it's a little bit immersive. So yeah, but anyway guys, that is pretty much it for my top 5 picks for PlayStation 4 mods. Eventually, when the actual mods come out, I will have an official video showcasing these, all pan and zoom, all that kind of shit. So I do hope that you guys will come back to my channel and have a look out for those. And until then, I hope you have an awesome week with your PS4 mods. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!